Hi everyone. May you be inspired, learn something new, or simply relax while watching. For this do it again challenge, I'm going to use uh, three blues and a yellow, um, and with black or white. I chose white, and the blues I chose were Deco Art Cool Blue, an Atelier Free Flow Paints Grey, where are you? sorry, and the Creative Place Ultramarine Deep. So I chose those colours based on a medium blue, a really light blue and a really dark blue. Then the yellow is also the Atelier Free Flow in Yellow Ochre. So, Alright, so I've got those mixed up ready. I'll have further information in the description below. And let's get to it. So for this one I thought I would do kind of like the ghost ghost swipes you know, from the center kind of flicking outwards with the the narrow narrower swipes and this is just the leaflet that comes in the letterbox it's got a bit of a shine to it which I find helps to resist um, the paper absorbing much of the moisture from the paint We'll just tilt this white around, covering the background. And this is Spring Brand White House Paint from Bunnings. It's a low sheen acrylic interior paint. All right, how's that? Looking good. All right. So now for this, you don't need a lot of colour, that's why these are only mixed up in tiny little like medicine cup size, shot glass size, whichever way you look at it. So I'm going to start with hmm, the Payne's Grey. I'm just going to do as best I can to keep a line down the center and that's a bit wobbly <laughs> but that's okay never mind with the ultramarine deep what I'm going to do is just use my stick and add oop, some in different sections so not a complete line some on the left side of the line, some on the right, um, different gaps, some there, some up the end, all right, so now come to the cool blue, and I think I will do, attempt to follow that line, <laughs> all right, We go. So I did get a little heavy handed on that one but that's okay. Nothing is a problem. It can be worked through. So the yellow ochre now. I think I'm just going to do as best I can and kind of just wobbly. Okay, sure. That's what it looks like today. Let's go with it. I'm just going to grab a stick, run that through. Nice. All right, so yes, it's a little thicker than usual, but let's get swiping. So these are probably about thumb widths. Um, and I'm just going to try and place it in the center of the paint and gently glide that over the top towards the end. 
lifting it up before I get there. That looks awesome. So, might leave a little bit of a gap to come back through. So, in the middle and across. Leaving little gaps. You can see in that one, a hint of green in there between the blues and that yellow ochre. So just kind of whisking it up before it reaches the edge of the canvas. So I'm going to go on to this side now, which I don't think I'm comfortable doing. So let's see if my cups stay down. And I spin it around this way. Let's see. That's how it looks right now. Pretty awesome. I love the lacing that it creates. A little bit of movement. The middle is a little bit stuck. So we'll just rock back and forth a little bit. To see if we can get them to um, move together. I'm not sure we can, but oh, it's starting to awesome. I just want to just drag it to the edge a little bit on this side. Bring it back. And then the same on this side. So as soon as it goes over to that edge, let's come back. That is so cool. I'm really happy with this. Alright, there we go. If you're enjoying these do it again challenges, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and share it with others who might also appreciate it. I think the question is, <clears throat> do you think it goes this way or does it go this way? Is this a portrait piece? Or is this a landscape piece? So, 
don't want to mess with that while I'm moving it around. All right, let's have a close up. All right, so we're going to start down in this corner. There we have it. Isn't that gorgeous lacing? There's something about this, um, I really do like Payne's Grey and Yellow Ochre together. So this was definitely a fun uh, do it again challenge for me. So I hope that you did enjoy that and that you enjoy the results. So there we go. Alright, one trip down the middle. I'll take some photos and then I will get this video up for you. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it.